Colophospermum mapani. Try saying that when you've had a few toots. This is the mapani tree. We're surrounded by them here. Very characteristic of the Southern African bush. They grow in these great big groves, otherwise known as the ironwood tree. It's rock, rock solid, completely remarkable timber. Uh, nothing can eat it. No amount of termites will ever get into it. You try and saw this or, or cut it with an ax, <laughs> watch out. It's uh, remarkable for its uh, butterfly-shaped leaves, um, which are a feature my kids used to refer to it as the butterfly tree. But at this time of year, the most interesting aspect of it is these, the seed pods, because these have got a seed inside with a really distinctive characteristic smell. It smells a little bit like pine, which is kind of incongruous here in the African bush, and there is a reason for that. It has a compound in it called alpha pinene. Um, but it has many other compounds. In northern Namibia, an essential oil is made from this, uh, which is used in uh, cosmetics and perfumes. Um, there are many, many, many medicinal applications for this as well. Perhaps most well known is its antibacterial properties. This thing kills bacteria like you wouldn't believe. I'm going to tell you more about Mapani, but this is just an intro. Call it Mapani 101. Thanks guys, if you did enjoy that, please do subscribe to it, like it, share it, do whatever you gotta do with it, and let's get it out there, appreciate it. I'm on my way, I'm Gus, check you later. Oh, well, that's Kasuka the Parrot, and we're out of here. Okay, bye.